Next month I'm doing a delivery sale of a West Sale 32 from Florida to North Carolina. The boat hasn't been sailed in a few years. The new owner and his wife found the boat for sale on eBay and got a great price on it. It's gonna need work then. Yep, yep. Offshore or coming up the ICW? I was gonna ask you about that. Actually, no, I don't wanna do the ICW. Nobody delivering does because it's yeah. so slow, but when you get there, the boat systems are really in disrepair. Yeah. Um, but the engine works. Florida? Florida, I think Fort Pierce? Fort Pierce. To Oriental. Yeah. If it's been sitting like that, it's not ready for offshore. Mm. Uh, it, it'll need a month of work, most likely. If the motor runs, bear in mind, you may run at the dock, the tanks may be full of sludge at this point. You won't know that till you're offshore doing this and all your filters pack up. So bring yep. lots of spare filters oh, yeah. so you can keep changing them out. Make sure all the seacocks open and close before you leave. shelving, reach it in a hole, and all I had, finally get the lever to close. I'm a galley sink drain. Sailing from Fort Pierce, Florida to Oriental, North Carolina, do you think we should just try to stay 15 to 20 miles from the coast yeah. and just hug I the mean, coast if it was all a, the way up? If it was a, a well-found boat in good shape, you'd want to push out towards the axis of the stream, which yep. would be pretty far out there. Sometimes as far as 50 miles, so you get the maximum push, but I think if, uh, a boat that's a bit of an unknown quantity, I would stay much closer to shore. One, if you're within 15 miles, you're probably within VHF range of towing services and rescue services. And if things do go wrong and you need to put into a Class A inlet, yep. <laughs> um, you don't have to sail 50 freaking miles just to get there. I don't think we're going to take the ICW. I really hope not. Just be prepared to yeah. have you know, no engine. Be prepared to have to sail that. So make sure you've got a good weather window, and, and uh, if you're using GPS, you have a backup with lots of batteries. Because if you lose the engine and it doesn't have solar and wind, a few days, and you'll run those batteries just with basic systems, just yep. even a jerk plotter. So just be prepared for that. Make sure you got plenty of water on board. Yep. We'll eventually get there. <laughs> 